stem cells are basically uh, undifferentiated cells, uh, meaning that they have the ability to become different types of cells. So there are two types of stem cells uh, currently available or currently being studied. The first one is um, adult stem cells, uh, which are usually found in different organs in the body. Uh, there's the second one, which is embryo embryonic stem cells. So these are what we call totipotent or pluripotent stem cells. So uh, ESCs or environment embryonic stem cells are um, you know, very, very important in research because you can technically program these cells to become any part of, uh, of the tissue or any organs in the body. Um, so, so you mentioned that uh, it's usually used in treatment of cancers or diabetes um, or even in, in uh, congenital heart failure or maybe in, in any um, cardiovascular diseases. Uh, that's because you can theoretically take a stem cell, uh, if, be it an adult stem cell or a or a uh, embryonic stem cell and you implant them or you graft them onto a specific organ and what happens is uh, it will uh, differentiate into that particular uh, organ so imagine if you have someone which has um, a, a, um, an artery which is dying or probably um, a, a heart that is failing uh, so what you can do is you can replace the defective parts of the organ by uh, grafting stem cells onto it. So what happens is it, it regenerates a new uh, cell of that particular organ. So in this case, it's, it's probably a heart, a heart cell. So you get, you repair the heart. Hello everyone, you are right now with me, your host today, Jahimi Masri. Clinical research regarding the stem cells benefit has been grown dramatically in new this era. Stem cell therapy is a treatment option which uses the patient's own, dem uh, own stem cells to repair the damaged tissue or repair the injuries. The stem cell, uh, the stem cell treatment is being performed by quickly, uh, relatively simple injection and in simple office procedure. For more information, let's move to the next segment with my friend, Fahanis Mahashim. That's all for me. Thank you. Good morning, I am Farhanis Bint Mahashim, a reporter from Majalah Tujo. So today, uh, I want to uh, interview Professor Naziha Nasri regarding to her new research about uh, the gecko's ability to regrow its tail, right? Yeah, okay. So let's do our interview in my lab. Oh, okay, okay. let's go. A few moments later, Okay, uh, I'm here that right now you are having a research on a stem cell found in a lizard tail. So can you explain a little bit about that? Okay, thank you Farhanis for your uh, for your question. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say thank you for inviting me for this interview. Okay, regarding your question, uh, as we know, lizard tail consists of spinal cord uh, which is uh, contain a lot of um, number of stem cells and proteins. Both of them is used to support the growth of stem uh, stem cells. So, can uh, why you choose gecko instead of other lizard? Oh, uh, for that question, uh, we choose gecko instead of lizard because uh, gecko can regrow or reproduce cells uh, faster than the other lizard, uh, which is about thirty days. Wow, it's Tuesday. So, what are you doing right now? Okay, right now, uh, me and my team are actually uh, investigating uh, about um, the event occurs due, um, the events occur at cellular level during uh, before and after the tail of the gecko detached from the, its body. So. Uh, from that, we found that um, we found that the spinal cord consists a lot of um, uh, one type of um, stem cells which is special, uh, known as um, radial pilia. These stem cells uh, are normally very quiet. Oh, so can you explain more detail about that so I can understand more? Oh, okay. I will explain to you. Uh, during the uh, tail detached from its body, uh, everything um, will temporarily change. So this we these cells, uh, which is radial glia, will make different will produce different proteins and begin proliferating uh, more in response to injury. 
So uh, as a result, it will make a new brand of stem, uh, a new brand of uh, what we call spinal cord. Uh, so once injury is healed and spinal cord is restored, all uh, all of these cells will go back to rest, uh, rest state. So, um, why human do not able to do this regeneration of cell? Okay, this is a good uh, question. Um, actually, human respond to spinal cord injuries by making scar tissue. So this uh, this scar tissue will seal or cover the wound and the wound keep it. So it will prevent the regeneration of cell. So. This is why. This is the reason why um, we cannot um, uh, we cannot um, repair our spinal cord oh, ourselves. That's why we use this right? Yeah. So, final question. May I ask you what is your hope in this research? Okay. Uh, in conclusion, my hope is um, uh, since we can use uh, since geckos can uh, regenerate cells throughout their body. So we can use geckos as a model in in a model for studying um, stem cell uh, for studying what we call uh, redevel redevelopment of tissue. So many things we can learn we can learn from geckos in order for our benefit. Uh. Oh. Okay, thank you, Prof. Nizihan for your.